The pitch for the Expand to Telltale series is we are putting you in the mag boots of one of the series' most influential and awesome characters, Kamina Drummer, and that we give you the full Expanse experience of flying around in zero G, using your mag boots to walk up on walls, having these really tough decisions with a crew with wildly different perspectives, and their lives are in your hands. Storytelling for us is really centered always on characters. So when beginning to figure out where do you want to situate a story for an Expanse game, you're really asking a question about who do you want the story to be about? And for us, Kamina Drummer is the most interesting character on the show. And we found it really interesting to think about how to use a game to explore what her story was like leading up to the events of the television show and give players a chance to experience that for themselves. We're not doing the grand like 4X, like conquer the solar system type of political story. We're actually like telling this like kind of high seas, like pirate adventure. It's like treasure hunting and pirates and mutinies. And we're bringing it to the world of the Expanse. I love all of our characters equally, but the character that is, has a special place in my heart is Maya, our ship's engineer. Maya is a Martian, and in the world of the Expanse, we often see Martians through the lens of their military service. But Maya is a former Martian Marine who is in the belt, and once we meet her, we get to know a little more about her history and why she's out there. But on the other hand, she's still Martian to the core. She's still very capable, she's still really stubborn, she has a sort of frontier spirit about her. She is a product of that world anyways, and I think that's an interesting character story to tell. Usually Io is covered up by these dust streams that fire off from its poles after volcanic activity, but it's clear as day. I'm curious to see how people react to Virgil's backstory, honestly. He has so much to hide, you know, because he clearly wants to be a good person, but he has this dark past. And especially given how he knows that Drummer will feel about this dark past if she were to ever find out. We're all crew here. We may be scavengers, but we're not criminals. We follow protocol. We solve disputes with words, not violence. That's how we keep our humanity. The decisions you make throughout the entirety of the game will determine the fate of your crew. Everybody can die except for one person. Everybody can live except for one person. Having those different moments is really challenging to make sure you have a, a satisfying ending. Writing one ending well is hard. Writing multiple is, is very difficult and making them feel like they are earned is a challenge. And we're super excited to see how players uh, end up with their experiences in this game. I would hope that when making difficult choices in the game, players have some choices that feel like head choices, where you sit down, you put the controller down, you text your friend and go, okay, here, here's what I think could happen. And you sort of work through the pros and cons and you make what you think is, is the correct choice. And some choices I would hope are more heart choices or, or instinct choices, where we put you in a deep emotional state and the player reacts. What do you think Cox would do? And they maybe have a chance to go, oh, is this the right thing to do? Or maybe they just go with their gut and deal with the consequences. I think you'll agonize over some of these choices. We want you to agonize over some of these choices because uh, they're meant to be hard. I want the player to sit there frozen I want him to put down the controller and be like, you're not gonna make me make that call. And we're not, we're making Drummer make that call. You just have to push the button. <laughs>